Hi everyone, this is Cheryl and this is Manny and he's holding this really cute fall decorative pillow. It's a really easy project to make. It is a great first time sewing project if you're a beginner. So let's get started. This is felt fabric. I'm going to use this dark green for the pillow the light brown and the dark brown for the acorn and the other three colors up here for the fall leaves. It's up to you how many different colors you want to buy. These are just suggested amounts in colors. For the pillow itself, you'll need about a third of a yard. For the leaves, I recommend that you get three different colors. You can make them all the same color but three I think would look better. You can get about an eighth of a yard of each. For the acorn, I'm using dark brown for the top and light brown for the bottom. And buy the smallest amount that the fabric store is, is willing to sell you because you need just a really tiny piece. Your pellon, you'll need just one sheet of the two-sided iron-on fusible web. And one more thing that you will need is polyfill stuffing to put inside of the pillow. Here are the templates that I'm using. This leaf that's right here in the center is a photocopy of a piece of fabric that had leaves in it. So you can either draw your own maple leaf or look for pictures of it maybe on the internet or as I did I just took a piece of my fabric put it in my photocopy or printer and enlarged it to whatever size I wanted here's the same leaf where it's really really big so that's what's kind of neat about having your own photocopy copy or printer you can make a lot of different templates I then traced around this onto thin cardstock because this is easier to use over and over again to trace around. Here is the shape of the acorn template. I'll go in a little bit more detail how I drew it, but basically it's just a half circle at the top, an elongated body with a half circle at the bottom, and a short little stem at the very, very top. When you are doing applique letters, Many of the letters, if not all, except for a few, need to be drawn in reverse onto your fusible web sheet. So my advice to you, if you get dyslexic like I do, it's very hard for me to draw in reverse, is I'll first draw it onto cardstock, just some old cardboard you got around the house. Then when you go to trace it onto the fusible web, just flip it over. So the letters F and L need to be drawn in reverse. The letter A doesn't matter because it looks the same whether it's front facing or back facing. So make sure you flip the letter F and L. As far as the acorn and the leaves go, you can make them any size and any shape you want. Here is the acorn. It's about two and a quarter inches high and it's almost two inches wide. Now remember, you can make it bigger or smaller. The top of the acorn is just a half circle and it's about three quarters of an inch from top to the bottom of this. And then the rest, I just went straight down and then drew a curved bottom. The little stem here at the top is about a quarter of an inch high. The leaves. Here are the leaves. I just traced three of them and you can make them in reverse or keep them the way you originally drew them. It's really, it's whatever you want to do. After you've drawn everything, then when you cut them out of your sheet, you want to leave about a quarter of an inch around all of the edges. In order to apply this to your fabric, you need to remove the white, plain white paper off the back. If you're having a hard time getting it to lift off, which happens, 
just take a straight pin and then score it by tearing the fabric. Let me do it again. And then let a corner pop up and then pull it off. Then it's very sticky on the back. Apply it to your fabric and finger press it down. Then with a pair of scissors, you want to go ahead and cut right on your drawn lines and cut your leaves out. Let me show you how I did my acorn, okay? And remember, this is up to you how you do your acorn. I actually, let me move it up, sorry. I actually cut it in half because I want the top a different color than the bottom. So this is going to be the top, this dark brown, and then the light brown is going to be the bottom. For the pillow, cut out two pieces of felt that are 10 by 18 inches. On one of your rectangles for the pillow, place your applique letters, leaves, and acorn in any design you want. This is just a suggested one. However you lay them, stay at least two inches around the entire edge. After you've decided on the layout that you want, then turn it over, remove the paper off the back, and then just set the letters down and your leaves. Don't finger press them on because you might get them all on and you finger pressed and then it's tough to get it back up. So just tap it down, look at it. If you need to lift and move things, you can. Once you have your layout all placed, then go ahead and finger press it all over, all of your letters. Make sure it's down really good. Then the next step is done at your ironing board. Take a damp cloth and place it over. And then you're going to use a hot iron with steam and you're just going to hold it down for whatever it says on your package, especially if you're buying a different product than what I recommend. Please read the instructions. So it could be anywhere between 10 and 15 seconds. Then lift and place it again. So you would do that until the entire thing is fused on and then I like to uh, let it cool down before I do my next step. Another suggestion is just to do a straight stitch near the edge of all of the leaves and the letters and the acorn. And I used a burnt orange. I used the same color on all of them. Pin your front and back pieces together. Then you're going to stitch one inch from the edge all the way around and leave an opening big enough for your hand to go in so that you can insert your polyfill stuffing. Next step is to take your polyfill stuffing, break it up into smaller pieces because then if you don't do that, sometimes it'll look kind of lumpy inside of your pillows. Then once you've done that, take some and insert it in through the opening in here. And as you insert it, you want to Fill in your corners first, all four corners. Fill in the back, the sides, and then the middle. After you have filled it in, then go ahead and pin and stitch this closed. Now, you might have to put your zipper foot on if you're having a hard time getting in there. And also be careful not to overfill the pillow because that will make it even harder to stitch it closed. For more decorative pillow projects, go to the green screen at the end of this video and click on the links. If you like this video, please click on thumbs up and don't forget to click on that share button to share this video with your friends. 
and if you haven't subscribed yet click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen enter your email address and click on the little bell so that you receive email notifications to your phone or iPad. I'm Cheryl, this is Manny. So glad you came to my sewing room. We'll see you next time and happy sewing.